Mm. So, like, try the world? Yes, please. Hi, you guys. I'm here with my Try the World box. So, um, they do send this one over to me so I can go ahead and, and give my thoughts and opinions on it. I'm telling you, the boxes are so heavy. This is what the box looks like. I just wanted to mention, in case you didn't see my last month's video, um, I'll link it down below. Um, but the box comes, it's just a regular cardboard box like this. But you can take the box and flip it inside out and fold it the opposite direction and then have the box look like um, this on the outside so you can reuse it and use it for other things so I did want to mention that because look how cute the inside of the box is it's cute you have to admit it's very cute that would be really good to re-gift something or to somebody it's really great and it fits this box perfectly so um, again here is the box I believe the box I want to say it's Argentina so let me open it up Yes, it is. Okay, so um, this is the Buenos Aires Argentina box. So they always send a little tiny pamphlet and it tells you a little bit about the country and um, different um, things about it. Like uh, last month they had like the music, so they do have some dance in here. Um, the sport, football, which is soccer. Uh, let's see, they're, oh yeah, Dulce de Leche, everybody. This looks so delicious, I'm telling you. Um, some music so it has like the same things um, some famous movies and then a poem so last month had the same types of things in here for for the for the country that was featured last month so inside the box they have the card with everything that's here and I'll definitely keep this close by because I'm not gonna know probably what everything is might might not so here's the box it's completely jam-packed I don't know how they do this but they do a really good job at packing everything in and last month I got cookies and I ate them all for myself. Um, these are Bake Love Cool Butter Cookies. Coco and Coco. So that's what that is there. Um, this one is, I don't know, just this butter cookies. So I guess they're just putting butter cookies. Let me try. Mm-hmm. They smell just like butter cookies that you get around Christmas time. Mmm. Really good. Not too sweet, typical buttery cookie, but the texture is a little bit different. Mm, so good. Flaky, oh, really delicious. All right, let's keep moving on into the next part. I'm gonna grab this. I already know what this is, I think. Oh my gosh, this is like the super heaviest thing. Um, this is, what's the name of this stuff? I think this is guava, I think. Let's see, it says on the box, Dulce de Membrillo is a fruit spread enjoyed from Buenos Aires to Patagonia that dates back to the Spanish occupation. You will find it in bolas de fragile, spherical pastries with hints of vanilla and lemon, and in typical fruit-filled pies, pasta frola. Cut it in thin slices and enjoy it with goat cheese and top off with a piece of toast for breakfast. I want to say this is like guava paste, but it doesn't say that. And on the back for the ingredients, it doesn't say that either. It just basically says corn syrup, king say pulp sugar, sodium citrate, citric acid, and then food coloring. That's all it says. But it looks like guava, which everybody typically uses around here. I could be wrong. I don't know. This one here, oh my gosh, what is this? Magdalena Dulce de Leche. That says a lot, just on its own. Okay, so it says, Doña Magdalena Dulce de Leche. In a country with more cattle than people, fresh milk is a given. This gourmet Dulce de Leche is made with natural ingredients and with the best breeds of cattle. Oh, yeah. By the family-owned Magdalena Company, this milky marmalade is a national jam of Argentina, a caramel topping that can be eaten right out of the jar or drizzled over ice cream, chocolate, or cake for a decadent treat. Let's see. Ooh, this next one here, it says MQA Gourmet. Um, I, I don't know what that says. Verdes. I don't know. Something. Uh, let's see if I find it here. 
Okay, green olives are freshly pitted and ground to make this delicious green olive paste, an Argentinian take on the tradition South French, uh, Southern French tapenade. This spread is a key to make the tastiest canopes? I don't know. Canopies? 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 Maybe. I don't know. Next in here we have memories of Patagonia, fruit, red fruits, Malbec red wine, and honey sauce. Wow, that sounds really interesting. The ingredient says red fruits, which are plums, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries, some sugar, um, red wine, and honey. So that's all that's in here. So it says in here, perfect for seasoning lamb, pork, or turkey. Memories of Patagonia Malbec marinade will soon become an essential part of your next backyard barbecue. It is made with succulent berries from Patagonia, honey from local pampas, and Malbec wine from Mendoza. So add a taste of tradition to your grill with memories of Patagonia and enjoy grilled meat, meat like you've never had before. Wow, I'm really gonna try this one. I can't wait to try this out. All right, last thing in the box is wrapped up here like so. And this is, this is gonna be my favorite thing, I can tell you already. I love chimichurri, I make chimichurri myself, but um, this is apparently the authentic chimichurri. There's more, there's one more thing in the box, I didn't see it. So it says it's made with parsley, garlic, oregano, red pepper, and olive oil combined to form the Argentinian staple chimichurri. This robust sauce is commonly served on the side as a dip for meat and vegetables during the large Argentinian barbecues known as asados. Last thing is chamana, herbal infused um, tea, I guess. So it's just like this and you can open it here. It says open and close. Let's see, okay. Okay, so there's three assortments of teas in here, so that's quite interesting. Let's see. Um, this one says Inca Rose, the purple one. This one says um, Patagonia B. It says with honey, vanilla, and chocolate. Vanilla, honey, and cacao tea. This one here, Mate. It says Earl Grey, so it's Earl Grey tea. So these are just a couple of teas, and I really like drinking tea, so this is gonna be a nice little treat. So that's everything that's inside the box. I'm super excited to try it. Um, I'm so excited. I am loving the Try the World boxes. This is my second box. Um, the other one was quite awesome as well. The treats in there is amazing. Just testing out the different flavors. Um, I'm not gonna say that I liked everything in the box from before because flavors are something that you either like or you don't like, but it's definitely worth a try. So, you know, to open your palate and try new things. So, and that's what this box is all about. So I'm more than excited. I did wanna show you on the card that you're gonna get. Let me just zoom you in. So here on the card, you're gonna have little things here on the card and it says family business, antique recipe, um, support uh, local community, all natural and organic, and sustainability. Um, so when they do have the little symbols here under each one so you can kind of know which one um, that they're about. So the card is two-sided and so it has everything there on the card. So in case you wanted to check out to see what the card was all about. So there's tons and tons of information here for you to read about each product. Thank you to Try the World for letting me have another go at another box. Hopefully they'll keep on coming. I'd love to keep showing you guys um, the different countries and the different boxes. Hopefully we'll, we'll reach around to my heritage eventually and see what it's all about. Try the World? Yes please. Um, I would definitely highly recommend you go ahead and check it out. I'll have the link down below. Um, all the information will be down there. I'll have the video for my last box as well. So I hope that you guys enjoy it and be on the lookout for a blog post coming up very soon about it. And I will see you again in another video. Bye.